Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachah Kodash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name and His only begotten Son's true name, being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew tongue. Also, want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites in these last days. Also, I want to give a shalom to our sincere brothers that's pushing, teaching the truth worldwide, and shalom to all you sincere believers. Just here with a lesson concerning that, you know, you must realize that you are a slave, man. You must realize that you are in captivity, all right? And I'm speaking to our people, our people being you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans who are scattered worldwide, and you are truly Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible, Okay, you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans who are scattered all across the world, all right, you are truly Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. You must realize, all right, the position that you're truly in, okay, and not and not the facade or what's being advertised all throughout the world to keep you distracted, you know, to keep you uh, at that state of being uh, uh, being content of where you are. Once you realize you're a slave, you're going to uh, haste to get out of that situation, all right, and haste in the, in the correct way, which is truly Rehearsing the righteous acts and falling falling after the law, statutes, commandments of the, of the of the scriptures, being a true Israelite, turning back to your heritage, repenting, all right, and and allowing Yahweh by Shem to to do the rest, you know, simple as that, because the scriptures say we wait ye upon the Lord, all right. But I wanted to get this uh started off here. It says where it's, it's quoted from the image. It says the best way to keep a prisoner from escaping is to make sure he never knows he's in prison. All right. And that's what the goal or the agenda uh, that that ha that it has been for the so-called white man, Esau Edom, his true identity, according to the Bible, to make sure the Israelites never uh, or make it hard as hell for the Israelites to wake up to the truth. All right. Through distractions, through entertainment, through music, through whatever the, whatever the case may be, through, through, through the air pollution, through food. All right. Make it every every way possible for the Israelites to make it that much harder. All right. Through, due to uh, captivity. All right, but through the course, through the Lord's will, through the Holy Spirit, the wisdom, the understanding that's given to the Israelites, hey, you can't, you can't stop. You know, you can't stop Bible prophecy. All right, because it's prophecy for the Israelites to wake up in these last days. All right. So this is start with Baruch, chapter three, verse eight. It reads, "Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where Thou hast scattered us. The Lord has scattered the Israelites all throughout the world." It says for a reproach and a curse. All right, because we're, you got to understand that we're truly cursed. All right, once you understand that the Lord has done this to the Israelites, and you know that, that you are a part of this curse. All right, you will then understand the, the promises that come later. It says and to be subject to payments, which we are, man. You know, on a day to day basis, we're taxed er, 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 on everything. You know, it says according to all the iniquities of our fathers. All right, the sins. Okay, so we're punished for our for our wrongdoings. It says, which departed from the Lord, our power. So there go, goes the reason of why we're, why we're in slavery, why we're in captivity. All right. Why you're a slave as of right now. Why we're being oppressed right now together, you know. But let me also grab um, Baruch chapter 4, verse 4. It reads, O Israel, for you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans, O Israel, happy are we. For, thing, for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. All right, it's revealed. The understanding of the Holy Scriptures are, are revealed to the Israelites. Okay, verse five: Be of good cheer, my people. The memorial of Israel to Zion. All right, we're, we're Yasha Allah, man. He princes of the power. We're gonna we're gonna benefit at the end. We're gonna get the last laugh. All right, we're gonna receive those spiritual powers. Lord, when we be a part of that number, we're gonna receive you know, the spiritual powers being living on the chariot. All right, and taking these heathens and these other nations, especially the so-called white man Esau Edom. All right, into slavery. All right, this this is this is according to the scriptures. This is according to the Bible. It says verse six: Ye were sold to the nations, a transatlantic slave trade, the Arab slave trade. All right, being under these different captivities and these uh, oppressions of these other nations. All right, it says ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath. Ye were delivered unto the enemies. So the Lord constantly, over and over, punishes all throughout the scriptures under different uh different um. Nations in different lands and locations, okay? Not for our destruction, though. He, he would not utterly destroy Jacob. Jacob being a forefather of the Israelites, all right? But we delivered, we were delivered to our enemies for us to learn, 
you know, for, for us to learn from it truly, man. And the Lord made he he made it known, you know, he made his power known. You know, he said he's going to do it and he did it. All right. Likewise, with other prophecies, man, that he's going to that he's going to that's going to be fulfilled in these last days that we're living in, that we're living in right now. OK. So I also want to grab Isaiah chapter 41, because once you realize, you know, that we're in slavery and that, you you know, you can only do so much. You understand how much more you need Yahweh by Hashem Shai, that you need divine intervention. You know, let me get Isaiah chapter 41. Verse 14, it reads, Fear not, thou worm Jacob. A worm is defenseless. All right, he's in in in, in the scriptures here, all right, through the prophet Isaiah, he's he's uh categorizing J uh the Israelites as a worm, man. All right, to show how defenseless we are, you know, which is very true. You know, where you get you wake up, uh car accident, you know, getting sick as hell, uh, you know, no assurance of, of your life. You know, as a slave, man, is to show you are you are now the true ruler in this society. All right, it says, And ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. So the Lord's going to give us that power. You know, it's, it's coming soon. The Lord's going to give that power to the Israelites. It's only right. Yasha Allah, he prints power the Most High. All right, or he prints power. <laughs> All right, it says, Thou shalt threat. Thresh the mountains to be in the governments of these other nations. It says, and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff. All right, so that power is coming soon. We just have to be, of course, be long, being long suffering as the Lord, you know, being patient, okay, to receive that power, you know, wait ye upon the Lord, all right, as it's commanded for us to do, all right, Pos uh, possess our souls, do uh, roughly paraphrasing with patience, all right. So let me grab also in Micah chapter 2. Because these scriptures should also keep you in that mindset of, hey, this is, you know, this is not the place or the position where we're meant to be comfortable or, or living it up or, you know, ex exceeding, you know, or, you know, to to be as the other nations. This is this is just not it. All right. America, Babylon, the great in, in this society in general, wherever you are in the world, you know, this is not the time for the Israelites to have that rulership. Not not yet. OK, this is Micah chapter two, verse 10. But, you know, country. Contrary to popular belief, people think, you know, that they can they can uh, live it up or, you know, reach this the status quo of the so-called white man's uh, level, you know, which is which is truly is a uh, deception. That's truly it's, it's truly deception, man. OK, when we have you, it will have your mind and your your uh, your whole your whole, well, I should say, goals or your your life plans, you know, all jumbled up together in it, you know. But that's why the scriptures say, this is why I say this is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, you know, separate, of course, separate from the from the ideologies and the philosophies and the ways of the world, you know, and, and repent, turn back to the Heavenly Father and, your, and our heritage, man. All right, because that's what's going to count in the, in the, at the end all be all. If you're going to be delivered on a chariot or whether you're going to die here in America or wherever part of the world you, that you are. It says, for this is not your rest pertaining to the Israelites. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. All right. So this place would can would would truly a first it was going it could destroy you spiritually, then the the latter end be physically, man. Thermonuclear missile destruction. You know those that that are going to take the uh the MOTB. All right. It is it, it coming with a sore destruction for those that are you know that are involved with it, but understanding that this is not your rest and that you're a slave that we are in captivity. You're gonna. You're gonna urge and have that, you know, to have that, um, that will, I should say, to to basically escape, you know, and that's only gonna be through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, and that's a good thing to know, all right, that's a great thing to know, man. So let me grab Isaiah fifty one, cause it goes into just that, Isaiah fifty one, uh, verse fourteen. And this is something we always try to get. And I say we as men of the Lord, as teachers, as as prophets, all right, teach on teaching week in and week out on a consistent basis. We try to get through our people and, and let them know that you have an enemy, man. This is you you are behind enemy lines. You know, this is this is not this is not the end all be all for the Israelites. You know, this is uh this is where where the Lord has set for us to serve our punishment. All right. But our people, you know, they can't see, you know, they can't see the vision. They can't, they can't, 
uh, of course, due, due to the lack of faith, they can't see that, they, you know, the the uh, the end goal, all right, or the end of the tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel because of the lack of faith. So, you know, that has them to uh, accept, you know, being or, or having that facade or that covering over their mind as if they're they are not in slavery, you know. But this is uh, Isaiah chapter 51, verse 14. And that's truly blindness that the Lord has put on these people. But it says the captive exile hastily, also like a hastif, that he may be loosed and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread shall shall fail. OK, and that we are. Are we not? Are we not captives? Are we not slaves, man? And we're a, we're a, uh, hasting in the coming in, in of our power. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're hastening his coming, man, because we, we want out. All right. Who would it? If you if, if those who uh, if those truly knew that they were behind, you know, behind jail bars, man. All right. Who wouldn't who wouldn't want out of prison? Who wouldn't who wouldn't want out of jail? OK. But if you don't know you you're actually in jail, then you know it's no, I guess it's no truly no harm being done because of the ignorance of of you not knowing. But that's the power of knowing the scriptures. That's the power of knowing the truth according to the Bible. You know. So let me also get Amos chapter nine, uh, verse ten. Okay. It reads, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And this is this is, and this is exactly what happens when uh uh when you have a a, a coon or a, basically it, you can truly you can say a slave mentality, man. People think no no bad is going to is going to take place to them, which is pride, you know, it's truly pride. All right, but you, when you understand that you are a slave. And you that you understand what's going on in the world that you are circumspect according according to the prophecies that are taking place, you, your your mind is taken to a whole nother level, you know. You have, you are awakened, you know. It's that it's, it's basically that red pill or blue pill, you know that, that the red pill that harsh truth reality and that blue pill is just is just the uh the 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 fascists and the ways of America, you know. Whatever you want, whatever you want to believe it that that that's your truth, you know, which is false, which is incorrect. But verse 11, it reads, in that day, all right, in these last days, will I raise up the tabernacle of David. And that's what you see now with the Israelites through an awakening. It says, in that day, will I raise up the tab tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. All right, so the so-called white, the so-called white nation. It says, in all the heathen. All right, so not just the so-called white nation alone, but the rest of the nations as well. You Arabs, you the Africans, okay, you Chinese, the Japanese, all right. It says, and all of the heathen which are called by my name, said the Lord, that do of this. So the Lord is in full control, all right. When you understand the ways of the Lord, you are truly awakened. You know, you're you're truly your eyes are truly open. You know, spiritually, okay. And we're here to wake up our people. Whoever is meant to to receive the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, you know, for you Israelites out there, man, you know, realize that you are in slavery. You are you, you do have an enemy, okay? All right, these these things are truly going on right before your eyes, man. It's time to a hey, time to wake up and realize it. But what? Before it's too late, all right. Before it's too late, okay? Because the Lord is going to close up the breaches thereof. He's going to close up the the answers that people are going to be seeking. He's going to he's going to he's going to hide uh, the prophets. You know, he's going to he's going to shut our mouths, basically. OK, so that's truly all I had concerning, you know, uh, for our people, you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans, for you Hebrew Israelites hey, to wake up, realize that you that you are in slavery, man. You know, and that that uh, deliverance is on, is on the way, but also destruction all all brought by Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. OK, so Lord willing, know that lesson was edifying, but also encouraging to you sincere believers, I will end up by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rechak, All right, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. All right, hey, Shalom, repent. Yahweh, Shai is coming back. Repent. Yahweh, Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom, Shalom.